Tonight, on the season finale of Eorzean Hoarders, Wesk finds out the true meaning of a picture's worth a thousand words. I don't even need to see your retainers to know you have big problems. I've never had even a fraction of the inventory you have. He might never see the full picture, but can he save this hoarder with just a fragment? I've never seen hoarding this bad in all my life. Get ready for this explosive finale, right here, right now. Welcome to Eorzean Hoarders. I'm your host, Wes Galber. I'm here to save the inventories and the lives of adventurers all around Eorzea. Those of you suffering from chronic hoarding are being crushed, but hope is not lost. Together we can conquer your hoarding, and for all you watching, pay close attention and you too might be set free. Tonight we visit Shmesh, a hoarder who seems too ashamed of this stash to show me all of it. With a whopping 10 retainers, this hoarder is out of room and out of time. If I don't do something now, they may never get free. I've been playing since the realm was born. I've just been slowly accumulating stuff day after day. Then I needed another retainer, and then another. Soon I had all 10 retainers I could have. Let's see if we can help him out with what I was given. That being, honestly, not a lot. But looking at your main inventory, I don't even need to see your retainers to know you have big problems. Everything in here is, well, a little bit of everything. Some things I haven't even seen other hoarders have in their own inventories. And I can tell you, I've seen quite a lot already. You have quite a lot of gear here, including a relic. This is just so much, so very, very much. The fact that there are so many pieces says to me, give it all to your grand company. Turn it into cordials or grade 8 repair matter. I don't care. Condense this into nothing. If it can't fit into your armory chest, you have no need to have it. I'm going to give a tip here that may save you a ton of other room in your other spaces, retainers especially. If you cannot use a piece of gear within five levels, toss it. You don't need gear that bad, and if it's for glamour, it would be already in there. You've told me your glamour chest is nearly full, but not shown. Maybe you should go through that too. Are you really going to use any of that gear? 600 pieces is... a lot. You're not using even half of that if you're changing glams constantly. How many of these items are a single stack of tombstones away from reobtaining? Poetics are especially easy to obtain, so you have no need to worry. Let me reiterate though, since this seems to be the bigger issue. Start clearing out all the gear in your retainers. There's so much here, and a lot of it is definitely gear. You're saving it for leveling stuff like your pugilist, your rogue. You still have the level 1, or close to it, weapons over in your armory chest we'll get to in a bit. Not only have you somehow never leveled it in all this time, it's taking up space. As long as you have an excess of room, and you aren't trying to gather every single piece of gear, Gathering some ahead of time is a smart idea, but as we saw with another hoarder, it can quickly become its own problem. I'm guessing you've also fallen into that. Decide if you really are going to finally level these jobs, or put the gear to use with the grand companies. Let's move on to the second part of the inventory. You have a lot of potions here, so many potions. And other than trying to abuse flares on Black Mage AoE, they're all entirely worthless. Even the crafting potions. I see no food in your inventory, so crafting potions are just a huge waste. Food is the far stronger option for crafting, and so using potions is a waste without them. The ether trick is fun, but not so important that you should keep more than a stack on you. And all these healing potions? Why not just use your chocobo? Far stronger, far more consistent, and doesn't waste your time or inventory space to collect. Look at this. Are these vitality potions? These are even more useless than basic healing potions. Nobody uses these for good reason. It's a worse thrill of battle by miles, while taking up your ability to use other potions, which would heal more anyway. I'm not sure what these ones are. Durability, Spirit Bond... The only ones I might keep are the Deep Dungeon Potions, assuming you intend to go back. Then it extends back to your retainers. Are you carrying random potions in there too? More a waste of space. You aren't even keeping it around for using it. 
so you definitely don't need it. Toss it away, or sell it to the market if you can. These are buffs, but given them multiples of 5, I fear you're not using them at all. You should only be grabbing these if you're using them. I have like 300 or 400 of durability and food duration buffs from squads, but I am constantly using them in raid. I can even afford to use the durability ones for just random play and might just do that. These, they seem unused entirely. Are these Thavnarian onions? Go level your chocobo. If you've not maxed out the shared fates of Shadowbringers and Endwalker, bring out your chocobo to level them up. But that's a minor note at this point, given how bad your inventory is. It's so bad that these bottles of wine and fireworks, I'm not gonna say to throw away. You have far bigger concerns, like any and all fireworks you have stored on your retainers. If they're stored in your retainers, they're even less used than the ones actively in your inventory. Search through your retainers, find any and all fireworks, and sell it off to vendors. You aren't using them. Section 3 is the relic and junk part, it seems. Are you actively doing these relics? Because that's a lot of Eureka Crystals. Penny Flames, Anima Crystals... This is a light and dark nodule, isn't it? That's quite literally the start of a relic. A completed step. If you're trying to get ahead and store away all your nodules for when you do all the Anima Quests, Take a day to farm up all the crystals and trade them in for the nodules. Then at least you don't have the crystals clogging things. Though my main suggestion would be to just do them or get rid of it all for now. You're splitting your attention too much. Relics are lengthy processes. Working on so many types at once is going to doom you. You've got plenty of room to store it all once you've cleaned up, but I'm afraid of letting you keep it will just continue to ruin your inventory. You were only able to let it get this bad because you allowed yourself little bits of leeway here or there. Also, those coffers? Yeah. Shouldn't be just storing those. Open them and sell the contents. Don't store them. Sell them. You probably have been storing a lot of the contents of these, but just... don't. Leviathan Barb, Ifrit's Horm, and Shiva's Tear. Toss these. They are so easy to get in mere moments. How many different primal drops are you holding on to? It's pretty obvious you have no intent to use them if you're holding on to them this much. Give them away, sell them, all your primal drops need to go away. See what is worth selling, and just toss the rest. Same for all your crafting materials. You have one or two of each only. That's not useful for crafting anything. And, well, given how bad your hoarding woes are, I'm going to suggest something long-term. And very drastic. You might not like this. When you told me what his plan was, I can't believe my ears. At all. This episode sponsored by YouTube.com slash at Westgaming. Did you know Paper Mario is a good trilogy? There's only three games, sadly. They should make a new one. Been a long time since Super Actually, Paper Mario. Come see Wesk wish they made a good game again on Wesk Gaming. Or just watch his Sonic and Harvestella stuff. You are call. Wesk Gaming. Where hot takes go to live. When this shocking finale went on break, Wesk was about to reveal his most daring plan to save this hoarder from self-destruction. A plan that will be no small feat to pull off. I'm going to suggest something long-term and very drastic. You might not like this. This applies to all your retainers too. I've never seen hoarding this bad in all my life. So we need to do this. Every crafting material you have, gathered items, immediate crafts, all of it. If you have less than five of any item, you are to sell it off or throw away. No exceptions. I spent my entire time in this world gathering up all these items. And he's just throwing them away. How could I just let it go that simply? I have that much inventory for a reason. I'm going to use it. I will. I don't care if you have a real plan for it. I don't care if it's an Endwalker craft material. If you have less than five of it, you aren't allowed to consider other options. Because let's be real, look at your poor retainers. Your retainers are completely full to bursting, and you have ten. I've never had even a fraction of the inventory you have. The only way we're going to save you now 
is by using drastic measures. <sighs> Alright, while you digest that suggestion, let's finish up your inventory. All this bait, make sure you intend to fish, and sell all your fish you obtain. Don't keep them, but if you aren't fishing, that's safe to throw away too. The final part of your inventory, I want to laser focus on these cracker roots and brooms. Also, I think some potting soil. This says you have a free company house. Buy a room or an apartment if you aren't an FC decorator. You do not need to be holding onto all this housing inventory. Maybe even putting the brooms and such into the free company chest makes it easier for everyone to take care of the chocobos, not just you. Further, I'm sure your retainers have some housing stuff, don't they? We may have more housing coming in future, but you can't count on it. Use the resources you do have at your disposal. Don't just assume you will win. If you do, congrats, but it's a high bar to reach. These green meals, meanwhile, these are racing meals for the Chocobo races, aren't they? But why? Like, I have a Pedigree 9 Chocobo. I see absolutely no reason to ever have these. Go race and spend these, or get rid of them. And this piece of diamond dust, literally worthless. Not sure what this plate is, lockboxes maybe to open. Ah, an orchestrion roll. A faded copy, that is. How many copies of Riptide do you have stored? Every single faded roll, get rid of. You can check the rare ones for market prices, but do not keep them. You find one, sell it to the vendor, or just toss it. Especially Riptide. You're not using them, I promise you that. Let's move into what little of your armory you showed me. Your weapons. You have a bunch of relics. If you insist on keeping them like I tend to, store them in your saddlebag or retainers when you have space. But you can just buy replicas for them if you just toss them. You also even have a sage weapon or two extra. This one has glamour applied, meaning you can't even use it for glamour without a dispeller. If you intended to use it for glam, you'd have dispelled it already. Finally, we have the saddlebag. You have so much garbage here. Sure, there's more relic stuff that can be intended to be used, but so much else is trash. More A Realm Reborn primal drops that are worthless, behemoth horns, curl Regina horns, Eden and Omega drops. All these gold bags here, you should be selling these off to the Domen Enclave. Double the money every week and freeze you up. If you're earning more bags than you can sell every week, it's time to just throw them at random vendors. With 10 retainers, I expect this is the case. Just sell them off. The Omega and Eden drops, just toss out. The books, too. You have 8 books of one type. If you were going to use them, you would have already done so. 8 buys a weapon or a chess piece. Them just sitting here? You're just hoarding them to hoard. We also have all these commercial manuals over here. Your crafters seem to be all maxed out, which means they have literally no use. Drop them in the trash and don't look back. The gather manuals too if you have those maxed, which seems you do. Wait a minute. Belt? You have belts here? Why do you have belts? They were removed from the game for good reason. I think that's the speed belt, which can be traded for a different accessory. But the other belts you have, you shouldn't have these anymore. Every single belt your retainers might be holding on to as well. Trade them to your grand company, or just trash them. Mir and Ivalice coins here too. Why are you holding on to these? You can't even buy the unupgraded items these were used for. Completely trash these. The books, the tombstones, and whatever these eggs are. For one last suggestion, let's talk whatever materia you have. I don't see any zodiac relic items in here, so you might not be doing those. If it isn't Endwalker Battle Materia, any Craft Materia, or any Gatherer Materia, toss it. The Realm Reborn stuff can sell pretty decently because of relics. The rest, you might just end up vendoring. I... I've done what I could. You only gave me so much to work with, but it's clear this is only scratching the surface. You have an absolutely long journey ahead of you. You need to just let it be taken away can get a bit of gill out of it, and actually have some level of sorting. There's so much here. So much more beyond what I can see. But you need to let go. It's time to let go.
It's time to stop hoarding. As the days pass, the piles and piles Smesh has accumulated over the years remain the daunting mountain they always were, piercing the sky, unmoving. But every now and then, passersby can be heard whispering that the mountain shook, almost as if an optical illusion reflected by the sun. Is this the beginning of Smesh's recovery, or will the final peak be built alongside it? Thanks for watching Aeors and Hoarders. Subscribe for more, and for more properly structured guides. Support the show and the channel with my Patreon. Can also follow my Twitch where I'll be playing lots of other games including all the Final Fantasies. Can follow my Twitter for random updates or commentary. And you can join my Discord. Take care, and may the power of an edited Hogsley Waste to your inventory. In addition, thank you to everyone who submitted for this series, and an extra special thanks to all my patrons. Thank you in particular to Ashtree Dweller, Ayman Al Khatib, Benjamin Han, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Cyrix, Ethan Olson, Ethan W, Fraser97, James Hall, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. See you all for next episode.